Today we're going to talk about cheap wine. In particular, today's wine is the Explorador. This is $5.99 at, uh, let me see how I, this is how I drink it. This is glass number two, by the way. I normally drink two bottles to rate our wine. This is glass number two, watered down. Take a look at in the photos that I put up just now, and this is how I water it down. It's how I stay hydrated, it's important. Just to make things official here, I'm gonna taste it. And I mentioned in my cheap wine reviews introduction video a couple days ago that I think uh, expensive wine is for suckers or people that want to feel important. Um, I'm not saying that there aren't subtleties between the wines, but it's like, like minutia. It's a, it's a minor difference and you, and you make it all up in your head, you know, you make it all up. So I'm going to taste the, I'm not going to do the swirling and I'll do the swirling just for effect. Ooh, what does that mean? It's, it lingers. It, 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 uh, I mean, if you can invent more stupid crap to, to, to rip people off with wine and to make it seem like they know more than, than anybody else, it's, it's free, it gives you a buzz. So anyway, I'm gonna taste this. I, I don't know, I'm not gonna try and pretend that, I, that there's something going on here. This is a $5.99 wine. I don't know, it tastes like a $100 bottle of wine to me. <laughs> it's all in your mind, you know? If if you if you gave this to someone like like new and say hey I got this it was on sale for uh, ninety nine dollars it was normally one hundred and fifty they'd be like, whoa this is the best wine I ever had people are so stupid you know I'll be honest I mean I guess it doesn't have a sophisticated taste and yes I've had more expensive wines that are all velvety and and so on I mean it tastes a little bit. Uh, like the hobo wine, but a little bit, but not, it's not too bad. See, when you water it down, you stay hydrated. You can enjoy the imbibing factor a lot more and you get buzz slower. It's, it's, a, it's a, good, a good way to drink wine. Anyway, the story behind this is, also here's another thing, the screw top. You know, when these things first came out, like all the wine snobs, it took them a long time to, to, to be open to, oh, that's a cheap wine. We can't have a wine without a cork. But then when you realize that one out of every four bottles of expensive wine you get is tainted because these corks go bad, then you start waking up to the fact that this is a, this is a smart move. And also, most corks nowadays aren't even real cork, they're artificial. So like, people don't know what they're talking about. The cork, every wine's gonna be screw top in 10 years, you watch. It's less waste and, uh, and it keeps the wine better. Anyway, so that's it. Well, I'm on glass number two here and I'm gonna come back uh, maybe when I finish this bottle and we'll talk about, you know, I normally drink two. I might be a little tired tonight, so I, I may not uh, even get to finishing two. But what I wanted to do with this video series, the cheap wine reviews for njroot22.com. When I'm on the class number three or four, I'll bring my little flyer so I can I can put that up. That's my big thing, you know. Anyway, uh, I totally forgot. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna tr hopefully remember to bring my camera so when I wake up in the morning. I can ex uh, describe exactly how I feel in the morning. And uh, that's that's how I rate a wine, is how crappy do I feel in, in the morning, or do I feel bad at all? I don't wanna feel bad, I mean, oh yeah, I wanna recap one thing from my uh, cheap wine uh, introduction, was that you can drink a bottle, or me, like everybody has a limit, they can drink you know, two or three glasses, four glasses of any wine, no matter how cheap it is or how expensive it is, and feel fine the next day. 
contrarily, or on the contrary, as they say, like for me, three bottles of any wine, I don't care how good or how pure it is, I pretty much in general, uh, it's guaranteed that I'll feel really crappy the next day. So, two bottles is my gauge. Find your gauge to, you know, fi find out what, it, what the, what the uh, limit is for you that no matter what you drink, you feel like crap. Then work backwards from there and then figure out how many glasses of crap you can have and guaranteed to feel good. And this is, this, this is my, my barometer because I've had two bottles of, um, I can feel good with two bottles, let's just put it that way. And there's times I felt like crap with two bottles and that to me is a bad wine. When you feel crap, with, uh, feel like crap with two bottles. So we'll be back, we'll talk more about this, but if this isn't about finish or notes or winery or the age of the grape or what kind of like horses walked on the soil in the 1800s, this is none of that crap because none of that matters. It's affordable, good time, reliable. You know, like, can you get it? Although the story with this is that Bourbon Street, which has, you know, I don't know, 10 or 12 stores, I forget how many. They bought out the entire inventory. You can't find this wine anywhere else. And I heard they paid $2 a bottle. And you know, God knows, they bought a couple thousand bottles of it. And they, they jacked it up to $5.99. They should, that's a 300%, uh, no wait, two, four, six, 200% uh, markup. And that's unheard of for, for even cheap wine. Like they sell a $20 bottle of wine, they're probably, uh, they probably paid 18 bucks for it. So th this is a huge profit margin for um, Bourbon Street. You can't get anywhere else. And not too many five, nine, I, I like this wine. I've had it in the past. It's not my first time. This isn't like a first time review. It doesn't, uh, it, it's, it's, it's an okay wine and I'll be kind of sad when it's gone. Uh, I mean, twelve dollars for a, a 1.5, you know, plus tax, you know, almost thirteen dollars. Um, it's it's not the lowest price one. Let's just put it that way. There are cheaper ones. Crane Lake is one of them. The, that is garbage. I, I think Crane Lake is like the only bottle of wine I can drink one of and feel like crap the next day. I thought it was a big deal when I, I found it at Buy Right. Uh, liquors uh, a long time ago, and I thought it was like I stumbled across this kind of bargain. No, it's not a bargain when you have to pay like top dollar in pain. Um, no way. So I'm gonna come back and do a couple more edits here. I'm gonna go uh, do some other work, and we'll see if I uh, get. I don't really slur my words too bad when I'm when I'm drinking. Only when I'm really uh, lit, like and hard liquor does that to me. So I'll be back, and we'll talk more about this wine in a no nonsense way. Okay, I'm back. Um, here we have, uh, this is the last, uh, I divide my wine uh, glasses up into six ounce uh, servings with the rest of water. And I just kick this bottle here, Explorador. Now the purpose of my reviews here is to drink two bottles and report on how I feel the next day. Well, the problem is I'm a little bit tired today. I did some hardcore, um, what do you call it? Landscaping today and, and using heavy equipment, like uh, holding it up you know, in, the, in, the, in the air. And like, God, man, got sore. So I'm a little bit tired. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. It's like one, I think. I think it's one, 1 a.m. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to drink two, but I'll tell you this this much. I've had two bottles of this many times in the last few you know, months since they had it. Uh, is it Focus even? Yeah. Since they've had it on special at, uh, at Bourbon Street. Uh, and it, it's, I feel fine the next day. It's, uh, and here's a little interesting tidbit about um, about hangovers, like like I know, some people just like they drink themselves into a stupor. They drink hard liquor and they don't hydrate themselves. And those 
bad hangovers where you have a pounding headache and every time you move your head it feels like like somebody's like smashing a brick on your head though that there's something that's it that's that the worst kind of hangover. that's like for like the newbie that, that gets drunk for the first time and they're 21 and they, they're not sensible when you drink and hydrate and I drink additional water on top of this I mean let me have a sip now Like for me, my hangover is like, sometimes it's like partially like digestive. Sometimes um, I never really get a headache. I'm never really nauseous. I just feel get this general queeze, um, general like uneasiness, you know? It's like, it's weird. I know like as time goes by that, uh, there's a certain time where you just know you're okay. You're like, okay, sometimes it's like two o'clock or five o'clock p.m. I mean, depends on when you wake up. And the worst, the worst hangovers are for me at least are when it's like eleven o'clock at night. And I feel better, and then it's like, God, man, am I gonna have another glass of wine? A lot of times I don't. Most of the times I don't. But there's usually like this clearing in the sky. It's like when a storm goes by, and then all of a sudden the the clouds, uh, they clear and this, the blue sky comes out. That's, that's basically like a, how I feel. So I don't know if I'm gonna crack into bottle number two. So this review, my first review here may be a bust, other than the fact that I've had this and I can tell you that two bottles for me is, is fine. Um, one little anecdote here, or a little a tidbit about this kind of review I'm doing. I should probably have some baseline settings, um, like no drinking the night before or two or three nights before, just to have a control, because I may unfairly give a, a ordinarily good wine a bad review if it's like, you know, latching onto the previous hangover from the night before. So that, I don't know what the exact science is there, and I'm sure it's all individual, but I should probably have like an established uh, constant where that I never talk about my two bottle review unless I have not at least drank the night before, preferably two or three more days before that. But ah, having, a, having a drink after a long day is always a, a helpful uh, thing to go to sleep and stuff. So. That's it. I will put another scene in here if I crack this little bottle open. Um, I have this weird tendency to have staying power. I may get tired, you know, like one o'clock, two o'clock, and then something interests me and I just keep, I stay up three o'clock, four o'clock, and then this, this, this may, uh, may come into play. So that's it. This is, I'm gonna figure out a way to make these uh, reviews maybe two minutes long, not, I, I have a lot to talk about here. So if, if you follow this channel or you're interested in cheap wine reviews, I think these first, uh, stay with me while I stumble through these first few videos, I'll figure out how to make it uh, better. I mean, I'm not gonna try and copy anybody else. That's not really my style. I'm just trying to do something fun here and, and, and I have a lot to talk about with this, so that's it. I might be back, I might not. Just wanted to say uh, after a, it was uh, the final tally last night was uh, one bottle and one glass and I'm going to have a perfectly happy day today. Um, no uh, feeling crappy at all. So uh, we'll have to do a two bottle next time. <laughs>